that's interesting. Yeah, yes, Arna, please. May yeah. I come in on this? Yes, please. Arna, I'm completely with Sohail on this. He's absolutely right. Elon Musk has not de-risked himself. He has actually taken on more risk here. Yeah. So first and foremost, what I wanted to emphasize was for those people who already had a blue tick and for people like Major who has bought a blue tick, if it has been taken away, it's a vested right that has been taken away. And there is legal jurisprudence that has been evolved in the U.S. Forget about India, in U.S., which will impact but, Twitter. Uh, but, but Secondly, in terms of the liability angle which you pulled up, yeah. the fact that Twitter is now claiming that it is giving a blue tick as a verification tick. It is not Correct. saying it's a blue tick which verifies that I paid $8. It's supposed to be a verification of the identity. Then they cannot shy away from the responsibility. It's not about us multing liability on Twitter for national security. It's about making them accountable for what the service which they are claiming that they are giving for that $8. Therefore, what was actually free earlier, and they are going into a freemium process that comes with accountability and liability. And finally, what I wanted to emphasize is there are laws in terms of a veri verification process that is to be emphasized. One of the early speakers talked about it as if, you know, we are talking about the due process as in uh, constitutional rights, which, uh, you know, accrue to uh, stay governments, etc. That's not what we are talking about here. There are processes that are mandated for corporates to follow. <coughs> In the under the Indian law, there is a provision which says that you can do a voluntary process of verification, but the assumption there is that you will then do this process of verification of identity and stand by that. You will then provide details pursuant thereto as and when called upon by. And this is where the due process comes in. So it should not be misconstrued with this kind of a simplistic statement by that speaker who said due process doesn't apply to a, a corporate entity. Of course it does where the process is supposed to be followed or complied with by them. And that's why I but, started you know, most with a joke these, about uh, tick marks uh, on Cap compliance. Uh, 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 Ms. Kapani, uh, uh, as, as, as you are aware, these uh, social media companies are very well armed legally and when you say accept when you press the accept button they make you accept a contract obviously 99.99 percent of the people do not read the fine print of that but you are bound by the contract and therefore i think i think what happens here is the company twitter which is valued in billions for which elon musk paid 44 billion allegedly has in the past tried to threaten Twitter users with Twitter verification saying, if you mislead people, we will take back your verification, which is proof. And there is continuity in the company. I think, I think the point to be made is that no, it, whether in a, Ms. Capanini, please on the screen. Uh, uh, the, yeah. the point is you can't today say a new CEO took over and hence I'm not responsible for everything that happened in the past. Because in Absolutely. the past, the same organization, the same organization benefited from Sohail said amassing his personal following to get four and a half million followers. You can't, so disown, the, you can't the, disown any responsibility to the users. So there are very complex the, legal issues emerging. Yes, and the very point that you made, Arnab, and by the way, I'm losing my identity here now. It's Napinai, and I know it's sorry, a bit sorry. of a tongue twister. No, no, that's okay. Huh? So the very point you raised in terms of you know what is the liability that can accrue to uh, twitter considering that users are going and clicking that i accept button and that's exactly what the u.s courts have decided on yeah. by saying that these are all standard form contracts so merely because somebody came and clicked on something yeah. doesn't mean that you can resort to unconscionable terms no this is uh, i mean this is a very serious debate you know i mean the fact is that there are all kinds of people